call myself an embodied wanderer or an embodied starseed and I know that we talk a lot about starseeds in this community of beings and souls coming from other planets and dimensions to be inside of human bodies at this time to be of assistance to the entire planetary's evolution. And so for me, I woke up to being a star being in 2013 in March. I just heard this voice in my head go, Z, where are you from? And I was like, I don't know, China? And then this word resounded in my consciousness like, Andromeda! And I was like, what? I've never even heard of this word before. And so I started accessing the fabric of that intelligence. And basically, a geneticist from a higher density would be angelic because we co-create the fabric of reality and the different genetic templates for life forms with all of creation. And so is this very interesting melding of science and spirituality because any articles I've ever read about angels have been like, oh, they're so loving and graceful and they just kind of sit there and smile at you and it's like, actually, we're quite busy. <laughs> having a lot of dreams. Um, the first couple of years, I would always be on light ship with other beings or in a different dimension where we weren't so much physical form. And the most prominent dreams I had were of me as a geneticist in this higher dimension. I started downloading knowings and knowledge and feelings from my life there. And the best way that I could describe it is that in these higher realms, it's as if we're connected to the whole thing, but it's like we have these specific coordinates of consciousness that we can also expand out into being all of it. And that in the higher densities, when we become scientists, it's actually out of this deep love and devotion we have for all of reality, all of creation. And so out of this deep love, we have this curiosity, well, like, how does this actually work? You know, this amazing, delightful creation that's full of life and everything. It's so fun and it's so great. I just want to know more. And so as this, no this desire for knowing grows, we begin to learn. And as we learn, we realize that we are a part of it. And then we gain the honor of understanding how to co-create with the reality. at this moment in time now as the frequency of the earth has risen that we're able to embody and maintain higher frequencies of being and consciousness than previously and so those beings that we were channeling we begin to realize that those are actually ourselves and that as we open our consciousness to connect with those parts um, over time we can actually keep that channel open and actually embody that wisdom. I perceive the reality in light and geometries and sound. And so when I get into a space, I sense the frequencies that are everywhere, feeling of aliveness and joy, you know, that feeling of immense gratitude and creativity, all of those beautiful divine feelings. If the universe was birthed to exist in that frequency, then we notice that there are certain vibrations which are fallen on this planet. send out this pulse and that pulse goes through the reality and it comes back to me as information of what is dense and what are the different frequencies that are present. Um, one of my skills as a geneticist would be then to correct those codes or those fields of energy and so when I travel, um, let's say that I go to a place where horrendous things have happened in that have been many on this planet, then we can actually begin to restore the frequencies of those places to be in back alignment with the higher vibration. within 
within so without all of these energies it they're all inside and we're discovering that we are literally one thing with all that is this light tech that i'm bringing to the earth is called the earth star and the reason for that is we are basically restoring the earth's place as a star meaning that the earth is rising to be in the frequencies of the star as if it can just radiate this beautiful love energy out into the universe. The galactic lineages, the angelic information that comes through, talk about how humanity was created originally to be these divine creator beings. Cosmic creative energy flows through these vessels, through these hands, and we can literally create any reality that we want. We're aligning with cosmic will, cosmic consciousness, and the oneness, recognizing what this creation is, and then playing with that to co-create. So this is a physical um, experience. We weren't created to sit in an office all day, right? It's like we're literally here to experience this cosmic energy flow through our bodies to um, shape and mold and play in this 3D physical experience.